Okay, so um, the thing that people most want to know about this is how to set up a step sequencer in live without using Max for Live or any external, you know, programming. It's all native, and uh, I figured out a way to do that. So, um, let me just show you basically how it works. Um, over here on my launch pad, I have. I'm gonna just demo the bottom four rows, which I have this, uh trigger a bell sound, and um, this arms. So, and this starts the uh, transport now. We have some sound. all fine and good it works just as I'd hoped so the way to go about setting this up is kind of tedious there might be a more elegant solution but this is what I found um, you need to set up a MIDI track with your instrument and I've named this step one and um, I, I have a bunch of effects and stuff for performance purposes but the uh, programming comes about over in this area with these four groups of tracks and um, you can set up the four voices over here to be whichever notes you wanted. I just chose uh, root, fourth, fifth, and octave. So in this first group, I have eight MIDI tracks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And down, way down here, I have eight MIDI clips. And each one of these has one note. And each one, as you'll see goes another step in the pr in the uh in the pattern <clears throat> this will be the fourth one two three four so when i hit play all of these start going and you can see it's shooting out midi notes and what i've done is mapped these things to the track on button so it just turns them off And if you go into the next group, I have these set up on the note F. You can choose whatever note you want. I just found that this pattern is uh, very, you know, harmonically ambiguous, and it can be used with major or minor, and you can get some cool stuff going. So I did the same thing over here, but moved all the notes up to F and mapped the second row to those. Go over here to the third one. This is, these are all on G, as you can see here, and it's the same principle. The third row turns all of those on. So you just set it up like that and take the MIDI to step in, step one, or whatever track you have, you know, whatever you've named it. And, um, come over here and you can have it monitor in but I found it useful to have it um, so I can stop and start recording so I can do looping and, and stuff like that without having to worry about it and that is basically how you do it um, there may be other ways and you know f experiment with this and find what works for you but um, I found that this works fine and of course you can take this for uh, four note and make it all eight but I like I don't know I kind of like having these uh drum parts up here which I'll show you I mean so you can hear that you can So you can have fun with that. And that's the same thing just over here in a group I've named Top. Um, and that is how you make a step sequencer in Ableton Live with nothing but some creative MIDI routing and uh, a launch pad.